This is Kerbal Space Program and today we are comparing the frame rate performance between the stock and modded game experience. I am about to show you how this game is affected by mods by installing 30 of the most popular visual mods. I will showcase the changes occurring for the visuals and the performance by embarking in 4 short missions that I designed for this video. Stock KSP Modded KSP Stock Modded this is gonna be fun. Alright, let's begin. The first mission for us is to fly this lovely SSDO into orbit and land back at the KSC, hopefully in one piece, so we'll see about that. But the first thing I want you to look at, the first thing I want you to notice is that there's a little window in overlay at the top left, and that is showing us the performance of the game. And it's a window you get with the Radeon graphics uh, software, if you have a Radeon GPU like me, it's giving us an indication, indicator of the frame rate, frames per second. And there's a big difference. So when I'm flying modded right now, I get mo mostly 60 frames per second. And when flying stock, I get usually more than 100, even 160. So there's a big difference. There's a big performance sacrifice happening. However, I just want to emphasize how bad KSP stock looks. I just can't get over how washed out and dark like it doesn't even reflect light like Kerbin is so dark for some reason and in 2024 you know KSP deserves love, love and appreciation it's an amazing game and these mods just look at this shine from the planet shine mod on our spacecraft it's amazing to look at yes you get less frames but honestly this game just deserves to look better it deserves to look so so much more realistic and cinematic for our enjoyment I think now it's time to deorbit and return in, to, in the KSC. Again, this is a sunset from orbit. It's quite, it's not that impressive. The planet is so dark, there's no colors. Well, with mods, there's so much color going on. Reflections and sun flares and the shiny bits on our space plane are amazing to look at. You know, I'm looking at the surface of the planet and it looks like a Roblox game. You know, it's this game is clearly aging and it's it, because it's more than a decade old, naturally. But with mods, you have the climate, the weather and the clouds and the storms. And it really feels like an alive planet that you can experience yourself. Here I'm landing. I, it's a bit sped up the footage, but I think I did a decent job. You know, I was using the chase camera to have a better kind of perspective of my space plane. But this does not even come close to the massiveness of flying through the clouds with the weather. With the, I have the wind mod installed also, with, which gives like um, wind and turbulence and it's really cool. But just look at the colors and the reflections of the sea. It's so much realistic. There's trees everywhere, there's more buildings, there's the clouds and they reflect on the surface of, an, of our aircraft. And this is just beautiful. I think uh, it makes it so much more worth it. I would rather play at 50 or 60 FPS than 160 and get these amazing graphics. There we go, that was a good landing. <laughs> Our second mission is landing on the moon. Now, I will talk about computer performance because we have to look at the second number of the little overlay window I put on the top left. The second number is the amount of video RAM used to run the game. In this case, stock KSP, we have 6.8 gigabytes being used. And that is not too much and is an acceptable number because today most low-end GPUs have about 8 gigabytes of video RAM, meaning that the game can load all of the textures without stutters and problems. The problem is when you play modded because the utilization goes up to 11. That is a lot more. And my GPU is a mid-range with 12 gigabytes of video RAM, so it's almost using the entirety of it to load the textures. Now, what can you do if your device does not have the specifications for this request? You can do either lowering the settings of the graphics of KSP throughout the various menus, or you can consider buying a new GPU, which I know is quite expensive, but would definitely fix a few issues. In the future, most GPUs will have 12 to 16 gigs of video RAM, so it will gradually get easier for new purchases. However, 
The last number I want you to look at is the RAM usage, which is the fourth number. That is 13 for 13 gigabytes for the modded and nine for the stock, which means if you have eight, you definitely want to consider a little upgrade just to fix the performance of your game. The third mission was to explore Duna. Now, I have to say, I immediately failed at the task. I capsized this huge rover because I can't drive. So just please don't get angry at me. I was trying my best, but I made an observation and that is in stock KSP, Duna gets a lot less frames than Kerbin. I was doing about 90 instead of the usual 160 let's say but anyways the modded game on duna is an absolute banger just look at these rocks and the details there is it's crazy and then this huge storm just crawled up on me the size of the planet and plunged us in complete darkness in the middle of the day so i had to walk back in first person view which is really cool by the way and I forgot to put ladders, and then in flight I crashed against the rover and it fell on my face, which was a horrifying experience in this dark, complete environment. And finally I managed to reach the hatch for the driving uh, compartment. Now inside here, I found a really cool camera uh, that I used to take some pictures, I don't know. Uh, there was a, I think it's a Russian extinguisher, I'm not sure, but it was truly a crazy experience to drive in the storm back to base. Truly a certified Liz and Al Qaeda moment. The spice must flow. Uh, yeah, I got ahead of myself. Anyways, I thought I thought it was a bit frustrating because I couldn't dock the rover with the station. There must have been like a high alignment issue, and so I didn't achieve that. This is a sunset in stock case B around Leith, and this is the same thing but with visual mods. See the difference? It baffles me how this game has come from looking like this into this as of 2024. And it's only thanks to the rich community of modders that in their free time, they just decided to come up with these crazy things. I've also noticed that the frame rates around Leith and Jewel also behave similarly in, as in the other previous missions in the sense that I gain more or less 60 frames per second when playing with mods instead of 160 so there's a big drop in performance but I'm still willing to take that drop in performance for these crazy graphics and I'm sure most of you guys will be just fine with 60 frames per second like me I decided to dive in this huge eye of the storm of jewel whatever this thing is and it's like 200 kilometers deep and it's crazy and it's even more cursed underneath there's like this layer i don't know what this is but it's surely like a very cursed place to be in now there's one more thing left that i want to show you and this is found at jules equator which in star case b to be fair doesn't even look that bad for some reason but let's dig in depth because on the surface Jules Equator doesn't have a storm like the one we just went in before and so you might think that it's calm and very safe <laughs> you'd be wrong look at that this is beneath sea level by the way which it's inconceivable like why why does this place exist it's like of course really green but this is what in stock it looks like there's nothing in stock KSP and you die when you hit sea level so Think something has changed right and then if you go even deeper like 45 kilometers below sea level you get this I just call it straight up hell because it feels like that I think everyone should experience this place in KSP because why does it even exist it's insane look at that it's insane it's a nightmare but you die at 75 kilometers of depth Man, now I will have nightmares about falling into Jewel. Either way, you have reached the end of this video. If you did like the content, please consider checking out the rest of my channel as I do cover the topic of KSP modding in my other videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.